Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Lisa. I've been teaching English as a second language online and in person for over 10 years now. So my channel is for students or learners and also teachers. So feel free to look around the channel and I appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Today, I wanna to talk about interview prep. So from a teaching standpoint, if you're teaching English as a second language or thinking about doing it, you have to be prepared to help your students through interview prep. Think about it. We ourselves as natives are nervous about interviews. How much more are students trying to do it in a language that is not native to them? So go through those basic practice interview questions. Your students should feel comfortable answering questions such as, tell me about yourself, introduce yourself, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Going through those questions will help them alleviate their anxiety, but also get them more comfortable in knowing what to expect. I just wanna give a quick shout out and a great resource that you can use as a fellow YouTuber, Praxis Lexis. He has animated videos where he takes a computer generated uh, person and puts them in an interview session. So let's just take a quick look at that. And it's a great way to see how you would answer. It's easy to understand because the voice is also computer generated. So it could be a very helpful tool. The example that I'm going to show you as if is if you're a technical student. So every interview is different. Let's take a quick look at that. May I come in? Yes. Have a seat. Good morning, sir. Thank you for giving this opportunity to represent myself. Tell me about yourself. I am Suamuk. And I hear from Bhopal. I am currently doing my B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from LNCT College, which afflicted to our GPV University. So that channel's link is in the description. So check them out. So they will be loading more videos and they have other situations that you can learn from. So as a teacher, be ready to do this. Personally, I've helped many students get jobs by getting them comfortable in the interview session, going over some of their answers, making sure they have an elevator pitch ready. You as a teacher and a student should know what an elevator pitch is. That's introducing yourself very concisely, quick and concise. So for example, that question, you know, tell me about yourself, introduce yourself. They're not talking about anything in your personal life. They are always talking about what's relevant to your experience. So you should be able to quickly talk about your experience in just a couple of sentences. What is your experience? What is a past position that you've held? What about your education or training? You can also include where you're from, how you got to this point. All of those things need to be in your elevator pitch. It should be no more than about 30 seconds or so. And of course it's called elevator because how long are you in an elevator typically when you ride from floor to floor? Not very long. So if you were going to meet someone even in an elevator, for example, can you give them your elevator pitch? What if you meet a hiring person in a company and you have to quickly introduce yourself? Uh, maybe you wanna make a quick connection. So you have to help your students to do this. Students, prepare, prepare, prepare. Go through those questions. As a native, even myself as an example, I've been through many interviews. Uh, in, I've dabbled in different fields before. And so I understand that there are basic questions that you will be asked. And be ready for those surprise questions. Uh, you might be asked, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? Those are behavioral questions to see if you can think on your feet, they get an idea of your personality, or if you were on an island, what three things would you take with you? So be ready for those things. And also know how to handle certain tactics to buy yourself time if you're unsure. So you can say things such as, let me think about that. That's a great question. So give yourself time to think about the answer. If you do not understand the question, don't answer. Ask them to rephrase, repeat, ask them to ask it again. The worst thing you can do on an interview is give a great answer to the wrong question. 
So don't be afraid as an English language learner, let them know, could you speak a little slower? Could you repeat the question? If it's a certain word in the question, let them know, I didn't quite understand this word. What do you mean? I want to make sure that I'm answering your question. So interview prep is super important. You need it as a teacher. You're going to help your student get through that interview process. You might have to look at their resume, do a practice session, a role play. And as a student, don't feel you can just walk into an interview. Certain things are cultural. Let's talk about culture and in interviews. In some countries, it's very common to put your picture on a resume. In the US, for example, that's not common. You don't include a, a picture. Um, so some countries I know for a fact include age on the resume. In other countries, you don't. Also know what's legal and not legal. So in the US, right, it also could be state by state in the US also, there's state laws. You can't ask somebody, what's your religion? Are you thinking of having a baby? How old are you? So there's certain things that legally cannot be asked. Help your student to know how to handle those questions if they're asked that. So interview prep, super important. Make sure you're ready as a student and also as a teacher to help your student through the process.